Gosh. The former World Boxing Council Heavyweight Champion from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the challenger, Terrible Tim Wilson. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the gold trim. He weighed in at an even 261 pounds. This young man has a record of 17 wins, one loss, with 12 10 knockouts. And now we're going to Greensboro, North Carolina. And now he's on the Atlantic City, New Jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current North American Boxing Federation heavyweight champion, Big James Relax Rob. Rob. Okay, fellas. Through the instructions in the dressing room previous to this. I want to remind you, I want you to watch your low blows, watch your head butts, and when you're tied up, I'm going to tell you to bring it backwards. You got any questions at all? All right, take hands now, come out, fight. So we are set to go. Witherspoon and Broad, both 27. Similar in height, but very dissimilar in weight. Witherspoon figures to be a lot faster, 40 pounds lighter than Broad. But Broad's got a five-inch reach advantage over his man. Witherspoon has lost just two fights. One, one was to Larry Holm. You saw a brief highlight of that at the outset of the show. And he certainly acquitted himself well. Here's Broad now coming out and lunging back from the first attempt at punch thrown by Tim Witherspoon. Nobody, nobody should go out and buy a hot dog because both these guys are going to start throwing bombs early on. Oddly enough, Broad is, is the guy that's readier. Witherspoon isn't sweating a drop. You know, and he, it's a no-no in the first round. It's true. I, I, I would, he stand there in a the corner. He has uh, no perspiration. Like, uh, he didn't warm up at all. Uh, he could be caught, you know, stiff right now, and uh, he could go out. Well, he is a big man and fights a mighty wall. No question about that. Witherspoon's got to fight that kind of a fight, an outside type of a fight. Don't fall in because Brawl's got vicious uppercuts with either hand, and I've seen him take guys out with that punch. You know, and with Broad, Light's not right. He's a big guy, and he likes to be bigger because first time he weighed Light, he got licked with Marvin Fraser. He was big as an amateur, weighed 215 back then. As we said, 261 coming to this Buffalo Memorial Auditorium ring tonight to meet Tim Witherspoon. That is definitely big, <laughs> 261. But he is the defending North American Boxing Federation heavyweight champion. Witherspoon trying to box him. Big smile on the face of Broad now as he grins at his opponent. this ring, Carlos, it bounces. There's a couple loose spots in the ring. Snapping right thrown by Witherspoon. Not connected. And that's not comfortable to for fighters when the ring is uh, loose and it bounces like that. Yeah, both those right corner and left corner bounce. You notice when they go in there, it'll be like a little trampoline. 20 foot inside ring measurement here, but very shallow ring apron. Danger there is those camera guys. If somebody gets asleep and goes, it gets excited and leaves his camera on the outside, fighter could step on it and really twist an ankle. The big pounder and the smaller boxer in the ring here in the first bout tonight. North American Boxing Federation heavyweight title on the line. And the white trunks, Tim Witherspoon. Lost to Thomas and Holmes. A couple of good ones, the only blemishes on his career. Would you ever dream you call 222 a small guy? <laughs> Everything's relative, right? <laughs> that is incredible. He sure looks small next to him, doesn't he? The final 15 seconds underway here in this first round. It is scheduled for 12 in Buffalo. A fairly uneventful first round, as you have seen, but Witherspoon with his quicker hands has been able to land blows. Time winds down now in round one. Okay. Round two is underway here in Buffalo. Tim Witherspoon, White Trunks on the right. Big James Broad weighing 161. Or 261. Witherspoon looks 161 next to him. 
Witherspoon's got to fight this kind of a fight all night long, Carlo. Cannot gamble. He's got to be cute, smart, box, stiff left hand. Don't fall in. Those wide shots are allowed to get nailed in uppercut. Exactly. You know, this is the most controlled I've seen him. He's very controlling there. He's boxing a very smart fight up to this point. Though. He's, like you say, he's giving him the motion and using his jab and getting in and getting out. That, that's exactly what he has to do. If this fight goes any type of a distance, which it may go the way it looks right now, uh, we're going to have a little embarrassment because those velvet trunks are going to get saturated with sweat. They're not going to think they're going to do a little drop job. <laughs> we'll wait and watch for that. <laughs> but in terms of obvious extra weight, the 12 rounds would not benefit Broad, I wouldn't think. If it did go the distance. Well, he's got plenty of weight to lose. We'll put it that way. <laughs> He'll be down but to 240 by the end of it. You're dead right. <laughs> Witherspoon, the left shot to the body. But you're right, Witherspoon looks like he's got all night. He'll take his time. Rob, of course, looking to land that big one. The smile seldom leaves his face. Chopping right hand thrown by Witherspoon. Now the left and the right by Witherspoon. Most telling balls he has landed thus far. Witherspoon can't fall in like that, Carlos, because if he falls in, this guy's going to go right up the middle with an uppercut. And that's what he can't afford to do. He's got a box, be smart, don't fall in. And he's doing that. It's like he's uh, hearing your instructions. <laughs> oh, another punching right hand. He's hurt, he's hurt. He's got big guy's hurt. Hand to the body, a left to the head, he's on the rope. Rob looking very, very bobbly right now. Trying to hang out as best he can. Another chopping right. Hammering right hand. The left by Witherspoon. He's all over Rob. It looks like the party's over. It is all over. attack wins it for Witherspoon. It's all over. over. Why the referees in this case bother even counting Angelo's beyond me. This is obviously the end of the fight. Why? Witherspoon, a happy man now that it's official with his entourage dancing in the center of this Buffalo ring, but what a furious assault. He unloaded on big James Bond. All 261 pounds hitting the canvas like thunder. He nailed him that shot, and the way he wobbled back, I knew it was all over. You knew it was all over, right, Carlos? He was. Uh, his eyes went out from under him. It was all over. Yeah, exactly. I got a little excited. I, you know, I think the referee should have stepped in there. Oh, definitely. Right. But instead, he continued with a count, and here is how it happened. Here's where he's hurt. Right there. Right now there. he goes to the ropes, and he's almost defenseless. Four, that miss. Five. Now that six, fight should have been right stopped there, right there. there. A dozen blows right there. The no more. Adams looking in, but he took it to the limit. He waited for him to He's out to go there. Down. Yep. Yeah, Watch him slide. For no, no reason. Right there. No reason. Now, Bad referee. Too many, too many shots. Yep, he was totally defenseless there. And then he let him go down and take the full count before finally waving that it was all over. Yeah, but what's good about the doctors were walking in during the count. So you got to give him credit. The doctors knew the guy was out of there. Exactly. They stepped in. They were, they were yelling for the ref to stop the fight. As most people in this auditorium were. You know, it, it looked to me like Tim Willis who learned from that experience against Larry Holmes because after he hurt him, he took his time and he, and he took under control and, and he got him out of there. He, he didn't get too wild and crazy uh, after he hurt uh, Braun. I thought he might have stung him very early on the round with his spoon, and then he laid off for a few seconds and finally came on with the onslaught that, as you saw, has resulted in the end. Press.
like the party's over. It is it's all over. over. Oh, oh. Turn out the light. Oh, God, what is Come it? on, let's stop it. Stop right it. Now. Stop it. He continued with a count, and here is how it happened. Here's where he's hurt. Right there. Right now there. he goes to the ropes, and he's almost defenseless. Four. That missed. Five. Now that Six. fight should have been stopped right there. Right there. Dozen blows right there. The no more. The referee looking in, but he took it to the limit. He waited for him to he's finally go there. down. He's out there. Yeah. Watch Agreed. him slide. Back no reason. Right there. No reason. Bad referee. Defenseless. Too many, too many shots. Yep, he was totally defenseless there, and then he let him go down and take the full count before finally waving that it was all over. Yeah, but what's good about the doctors were walking in during the count, so you got to give him credit. The doctors knew the guy was out of there. Exactly. They stepped in. They were, they were yelling for the ref to stop the fight, as most people in this auditorium were. You know, it, it looked to me like Tim Willis who learned from that experience against Larry Holmes because after he hurt him, he took his time. And he, and he took under control and, and he got him out of there. He, he didn't get too wild and crazy uh, after he heard uh, Braun. I thought he might have stung him very early in the round with his spoon. And then he laid off for a few seconds and finally came on with the onslaught. and here is how it happened. Here's where he's hurt. Right there. Right now there. he goes to the ropes and he's almost defenseless. Four. That missed. Five. Now that Six. fight should have been right stopped there. right there. Right there. Blows right there. The no more. Adams looking in, but he took it to the limit. He waited for him to he's finally go there. down. He's out there. Watch him slide. No reason. No right reason. Now Bad referee. Too many, too many shots. Yep, he was totally defenseless there. And then he let him go down and take the full count before finally waving that it was all over. Yeah, but what's good about the doctors were walking in during the count. So you got to give him credit. The doctors knew the guy was out of there. Exactly. They stepped in. They were, they were yelling for the ref to stop the fight. As most people in this auditorium were. You know, it, it looked to me like Tim Willis who learned from that experience against Larry Holmes because after he hurt him, he took his time. And he, and he took under control and, and he got him out of there. He, he didn't get too wild and crazy uh, after he heard uh, Braun. I thought he might have stung him very early in the round with his spoon. And then he laid off for a few seconds and finally came on with the onslaught. But as you saw, as resulted in the end. Press, this fight will be telecast.